Agent Marshall Money signing in. Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Over Team. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, turn the unexecutable into an installer. This is the follow up to the first part. If you missed the first part and you're using Python, um, be sure to check it out. Links in the description. But if you already have your executable ready to be compiled to an installer, just watch on. So now the next step is to get that executable into an installer. So to do that, we're going to get in a, and that should get you do JR software. This link is safe. McAfee says so. I've not gotten virus from this. Of course, I will not be saying to use this if I had data virus. So then you can, can click download in a setup here and then click whichever where wherever you're closest to. I'm closest to US US. So I'm going to download it to US save file make if he's going to scan a quick second it's always good to scan your downloads you probably can't see it there we go um okay all good it says then you're just going to double click on it what was that uh yes okay accept um install you know setup processor Yes, allow it. I say I always do. Click next. Um, yeah, associate and I'll set up with ISS extension and install and finish. All right. So when you get this message, click create a new script. Okay. Click next. All right. Now just now enter all the information you want. So this here is just the name of the program. I'm gonna call it Tubby Game. The application version. 0 0.1 um, application public publisher we'll call it doggy studios again this is all optional you can leave these blank if you wanted to except for the application name you gotta name it gotta give it that name um, application website if you're doing a professional application of course include the website if you don't have a website just leave that blank just like that all right um this is basically the default directive where it's going to install. You can customize that if you want, but I'm going to leave it. Um, allows you to change application full time means allow you to change where it installs to. Yeah, we'll let them do that. So this is where you include all of your files that you're going to install, like all the files that are to be installed. So you got first we were browsing for the main for the main executable. So that means the basically the executable it does most of the work. But th okay, if that makes sense. So in, th in this case, it's Tubby Game because that's where we to run the game. We click Tubby Game, so we got to open Tubby Game. So that's the main executable. Now we got to add the helper files. So we'll select all these good old helper files. And included in these helper files is also license. I created a license file. We'll get. We'll see what that does later. All right, and then add a folder. If you have like a folder that has like pictures, like the images for your game or whatever then you gotta click um, data then click the folder that you want to include um, it'll say should you include all the folders and all the files inside it yes do that and then but that's when it installs it's it's just gonna plunk it's not gonna create its own little subfolder it's just gonna plunk it straight into the main folder which we don't want because our program says it has to be inside its own folder so to change that you click edit Destination sub subfolder. Make sure you name these right. Make sure you name it what how, what the program sees it as. So I'm gonna check and make sure it's right. So it's data images right. Data backslash images. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing with player data. All good. So that's all good there. Click next. Um, this is saying, do you want a shortcut here? Yes, I do. Do you want a shortcut? They'll use it to create a shortcut there. Yes, they do. Next. License file. So this is what I was talking about with the license file. So you can just browse for it. Um, to create the license file, it's easy enough. You just go to Notepad, write a whole bunch of words. Save file, save as, whatever you want, text file. Okay. I already have one created, so I'm gonna click on that. Open. And information file shown by installation. I don't have those. I, I don't think you even really need those. So I'm just going to leave those as is. Click next. All right, languages. For now, I'm just going to use English. If you have any other languages that you want to include, 
include them, of course. If not, just hit that next button. So this is in, once it's compiled to set up, where's the, insta where's the insta installer gonna go? It's gonna go, well, we'll just set it to the desktop so we can see it. And the name of the installer, we're gonna call it tubby theme ins installer. All right, then the setup icon file, and you'll browse for that. If you don't know how to make an icon file, check out our video on that. It should be a link in the description. And so you just browse for your icon file. I have here a very poorly made icon file. And then click next. Oh, um, set a password. That's like, you know when you're installing something, like maybe from EA games or whatever, and you see, um, enter the registry code. That's basically what the password is, I guess. I don't need a password for this. I'm just gonna click next. Um, this here, you would check user defined directives if um, you had like a really complex program, but I don't know, I'm a okay. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna really gonna use that too much. All right, and click finish. Now it's gonna ask you, do you wanna compile a script? No, because the Enos wizard does not cover a few important things. One of them is the permissions, because my game uses has a save function. So to save something, it's editing a file, but once you once a file's inside the C drive, Windows says no, you can't edit it unless you have specific permissions, and and as default you don't have those permissions, so you gotta include permissions. So you got those permissions, you'll see this long list of code. You want to look for the folder, you'll, the folder name that you want to have permissions allowed. So in my case, it's player data. Add a semicolon at the end of it. Type permissions permissions add a colon and then type users so the first thing is users who's getting these permissions well the user is getting these permissions what sort of permissions the user has permission to modify the folder good to go one other thing that doesn't cover is the icons it doesn't for some reason doesn't actually give the shortcuts good icon files like the icon file that you wanted so to do that copy all copy these lines here, paste them below, that's control C to copy, control V to paste, and then at the end of the line, type icon, yeah, icon file, icon file name, add a colon, open a set of parentheses, inside of the parentheses, open some of those curly braces, and then type app, and then look for the icon, set up icon file, ah, there we go. It's underneath data, tubby ico. So that's where it. Is. That's the icon file. So you can copy that and do that for the line below it. The line, this line here is for the desktop icon. This line here is for the Windows icon. After you finish that, that then you should be good to go. Then you can, then you're ready to click compile. Would you like to save the script? Yes, we'll save it a quickie second. Save it to the desktop. We'll call it um, set up. We'll save that. And it's compiling. Finished. All right, so let's see if it worked. Let's double click on our installer. Um, the screen's blacked out now, but it's basically saying, do you want to allow this app to go? And I said, yes. All right, here's our nice little agreement. I do accept I will have fun and there is no rule number two. Next, um, yes, I'll just leave that as is. Create desktop shortcut, sure. Install. Launch the tubby game. Play, all right, so the installer works. All right. Hmm. I don't know why I didn't include it. I got, I realized what I did, so. Um, I think what I, yeah, what I did was I went here, I went to Tubby Game, and I just clicked on Data right from here, and of course, it's not located there. To fix that, it's easy enough to fix. I'm just going to copy this extra little tidbit here. Alright, let's compile and run that. Save it. Alright. Awesome. Everything's working great. Shortcuts work. See, it's even got the cute, nice little awesome icon in there icon there perfect so all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was showing you how to create a installer for your python game or for any xql for that matter 
I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Agent Marshall Marty out.